Hey, what's happening, Comic-Con Day 3? My name is Quicksilver here from the Structure Network. Welcome to my hotel room. Uh, it's a little after hours. We just hung out at the Loot Crate booth this afternoon. Big shout out to Matt and Aaron. We were able to secure ourselves a creepy box. This is number 809 of 10,000. There are 10,000 of these at the show. Uh, they're going for about 55 bucks a piece, and they guarantee you exclusive loot for New York Comic Con that will be available in no other box, not the October box, not any level up piece, nothing. This is all exclusive items for the show. Loot Crate has done a very good job of this in the past from what I've seen. This is my first exclusive box that I've been able to unbox from Loot Crate. So I'm going to get right into it. Okay, right on. So we're starting off really cool. First and foremost, uh, they announced over the weekend that they're going to be doing a new monthly subscription called Anime. This for the anime fan is going to be very cool. You can take a look at all that on LootCrate.com. Up next, we have Fear in a Can. <laughs> now that's kind of cool. It's got can it's canned for your horror. It has Frightzilla, Witch's Cackle, Devil's Laugh, Werewolf's Call, Psycho Shower, Spine Chilling Scream, Vader Breathing, Evil Laugh, and Growling Menace. <laughs> okay, very cool. I know it's kind of like very tacky, but it's very fun for me. Okay, cool. Up next, we have a zombie garden gnome. It's a mini zombie garden gnome. Something for your desk so that we can have your zombie garden gnome right there. That's neat. This is self-explanatory. I'm not even going to bother pulling it out because apparently it's bad luck if you do it inside. This is the Umbrella Corporation Umbrella. It's going to have the Umbrella logo on it. Very, very popular amongst Resident Evil fans. Um, something that you're only going to be able to get exclusively in Loot Crate. This is a very cool item. I like that. And especially when it rains, you can do it in style now. <clears throat> this is a Chucky vinyl figure. I'm not sure if this glows in the dark. He's kind of greenish like he does. No, he doesn't. I'm just afraid he's going to get up in the middle of the night and try to kill me. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, this is made by Universal and Mezco, who does a pop vinyl style figure. Or more of a vinyl figure. Pop is a Funko thing. Uh, this is really, really cool. Exclusive to this box. Only at New York Comic Con. So if you're a Chucky fan, this might alone be worth the money. So there's a new movie coming out called Crimson Peak. And uh, Loot Crate had an unannounced pop vinyl that is in this box. Edith Cushing, she's one of the characters in the movie. I know nothing about Crimson Peak yet. So I really can't say anything about the movie. I know it's a new movie coming out this month. Uh, being October at the time of release. Um, <clears throat> this is a very neat looking pop. Uh, very small. Uh, bloody. She has a knife in her hand. But what I really like about it was is it was something I announced in the surprise. Ooh, up next we have a set of oversized creepy cards. And uh, these are going to be cool. I just have a feeling. I hope there's something weird. Oh, alright. Cool. So, we have foil cards. These are Black Lantern. The Black Lantern Corpse. This is Superman Black Lantern. Very, very cool. And this is Black Hand with dead Black Lantern. Batman. You can't kill Batman. Batman's my boy. Uh, oh. Now you guys know if you've seen my past videos on my old YouTube channel, I'm a really big fan of pins. Um, this, I would like to see Luke Crate do this more often. Um, this is a 2015 uh, special edition pin for New York, Comic Con only. Um, but it's a metal pin. That's what I really like about it is, is that there's some weight to it. It's a very cool design. It's highly collectible. Uh, Collector Core does the metal pins. I really hope Loot Crate's going in that direction. Um, just a small suggestion myself. I like the plastic badges, but metal badges always just have that extra, you know, appeal to them, to say the least. <clears throat> okay, we have a certificate of authenticity from Matt and Chris, the founders of Loot Crate. Every item in this creepy crate is 100% exclusive and only available at Loot Crate's New York Comic Con booth. You've got yourself one of just 10,000 ever made. We love you, the Loot Crate team. Thanks guys, we love you too. And last but not least, this is the creepy crate rundown. No book in this one, it's an exclusive crate. I don't know if they regularly do a book in exclusive crates, I highly doubt it. Uh, but it talks about all the different items in the box here. 100% exclusive loot, $85 total value. Very cool. So you're saving yourself 30 bucks on some cool content and some stuff that you know you might not have 
I mean, this box is, I'm impressed. Um, I've said in past months, there are things that I think Luke Crate needs to improve on. Um, lately, the company's had some really neat stuff. Um, I think the follow-up box, even at its little over-the-top price tag of $100, is very cool. Now, I'm saying over the top because I think the price tag is high. I, I really can't stay. That's just sticker shock. Um, but I also think the Mass Effect crate that they're doing coming out is very cool. And this creepy crate, especially with Halloween right around the corner, is very cool. And there are some great items in here, and people are going to really enjoy this, especially if you're a horror movie fan like I am, or if you're just a horror fan in general, and you don't subscribe to something like a horror block. This is really, really rad. Um, the guys at Loot Crate always do a really good job of picking items that their audience will like. And again, I've said it before and I'll say it again, not everyone is going to like every box that Loot Crate does. But for the most part, you're going to please a lot of people and a lot of people are going to be happy with what they come home with. This box especially meets that. So that is creepy for New York Comic Con 2015. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us right here on the Structure Network. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.